Hello to all of you. This is Dr. Tawal Mahata, and today we will understand how to run hierarchical cluster analysis in Python. Cluster analysis is one of the advanced statistical techniques used to identify, classify objects or cases into homogeneous sets that behave similarly or so similar characteristics. In a simple language, we can say that the groups having similar features are classified as cluster. The analysis is used to classify this cluster is known as cluster analysis. Basically, clustering is a collection of data objects which are similar to one another, one another within the same cluster, dissimilar to the objects in other clusters. Cluster analysis finds the similarities between the data according to the characteristics found in the data and grouping similar data objects into clusters. Now here you can see some figures. In how many ways we can do the clustering? The first method, according to the shape. The second method, according to the color. The third method, according to the sum of internal items. What are the types of data on which we can carry out the cluster analysis? It can be interval scaled variables, binary variables, nominal, ordinal, and ratio variables, or variables of mixed types. Some examples of clustering applications are for the people of marketing, it can help in discovering distinct groups in the customer bases and then use this knowledge to develop targeted marketing programs. In case of land usage, identifications of areas of similar land use in Earth Observations Database. For insurance, identifying group of motor insurance policyholders with high average claim cost. In city planning, identifying group of houses according to their house types values and geographical locations. In earthquake studies, we observe earthquake epicenters should be clustered along continent falls. Other examples of clustering are recommendations engines, market segmentation, social network analysis, search result grouping, medical imaging, image segmentation, anomaly detection. Some desirable properties of clustering algorithm are it should have a scalability in terms of both time and space. Second, ability to deal with different data types. Third, minimum requirements for domain knowledge to determine input parameters. Fourth, able to deal with noise and outliers. Fifth, insensitive to order of input records. Sixth, incorporations of user-specified constraints. Seven, interpretability and usability. Now, you can divide the clustering into hierarchical and non-hierarchical clustering. So hierarchical cluster analysis can be again divided into partitional clustering and the agglomerative clustering. So partitional clustering is also known as k-means clustering. In case of agglomerative clustering, we are having methods like nearest neighbor, furthest neighbor, pair group average, centroid method, median method, and wards method. Partitioning clustering is also known as a non-hierarchical methods. In case of hierarchical clustering, as the name suggests, it is an algorithm that builds hierarchy of clusters. This algorithm starts with all data points assigned to a cluster of their own, then two nearest clusters are merged into the same cluster. In the end, this algorithm terminates when there is only single cluster left. Now, there are different methods to measure the distance between two clusters. One of the method is Euclidean distance. So if we are having two points, one point here, another, we take x1 minus x2 square plus y1 minus y2 square. And this method, and if we take the square root of this, it is known as a Euclidean distance. If we take the absolute values of x1 minus x2 plus y1 minus y2, it's a Manhattan distance. And if we take maxima of these two absolute values, it is known as Chebyshev distance. You can see here that the orange color, say for example, we are having two points, this one, two, and five, four. So if we calculate the distance according to the orange line, then it is known as Chebyshev distance. If we calculate according to the blue line, it's known as a Euclidean distance. And if we consider according to the light blue, then it is known as a Manhattan distance. Now measuring the distance between the two clusters, it can be the first method is single linkage, nearest neighbor. In this method, the distance between two clusters is determined by the distance of the two closest object in different clusters. Let me show you. You can see here, this is a single link and 
if there are two clusters then the nearest ones are considered okay second method complete linkage for this never the farthest never in this method the distance between clusters are determined by the greatest distance between any two objects in the different clusters so the the far away point in both the clusters are considered the farthest points group average linkage in this method the distance between two clusters is calculated as the average distance between all pairs of object in two different clusters so we take the average linkage the most popular method is watch method so in this method we try to minimize the variances of the merged cluster and this method is most popular method now how we can carry out the cluster analysis let us see in jupyter so import numpy as np import pandas as pd import matplotlib.pyplot as plt import skyp so if you don't have this library you will have to go in the command prompt and it is necessary that you install the skyp libraries so go in command prompt and write down pip install skyp enter and it will start its installation process from skyp.cluster.hierarchy import f cluster from skyp.cluster.hierarchy import topnet from skyp.spatial distance import p distance now it, we have to import the data file which is there in the excel so df is equal to pd dot read underscore excel will specify the path from where we have to import the data file once the data file is imported when we write down df dot head it will generate the first five rows of the data set you can see here the object is there and dimension one and dimension two is there now we want to run the we want to run the and the cluster analysis and we also want to generate the dendrograms that out of these two dimensions which are nearer to each other so for this purpose from skype.cluster.hierarchy import dendrogram comma linkage then we create link is equal to linkage data frame single linkage then we give the label list is range 1 to 8 we specify range is 1 to 8 now here this is a figure size plot dot figure into bracket figure size is 10 comma 7 you can change the settings and you can see that by increasing or decreasing the figure size will increase or decrease for running the dendrogram dendrogram is equal to linked we write link because it is calculated from here linked orientation is top labels is equal to label list distance underscore sort descending so lift counts true then Plot AXH line Y is equal to 2.5. We want to plot, plot, plot the line at 2.5. Plot dot show. When we'll run this, we'll get the dendrogram. Now, when I change this thing to the bottom, first it was top. Now, if I change it to bottom, it will change the dendrogram. So, let me make some changes and try to explain what the command is. Say for example, if I make 10 by 10, so the, so the size of the plot will increase. So this is for the size, this is for the orientation. We want labels or not. Ascending or descending, we can keep distance as ascending. And it will recalculate on its own. So normally we go for top and descending. Now we want to run the agglomerative cluster. So import sklearn from sklearn.cluster import agglomerative clustering. Then we will go in k is equal to 2, edge clustering is equal to agglomerative clustering, n underscore clusters is equal to k, affinity is Euclidean, linkage is single, edge clustering.pit df is a data frame. Once this is done, we'll run edge clustering dot fit underscore predict df. Then print edge clustering dot labels. Now we will generate x and y. So x is equal to df 
dimension one, y is equal to df dimension two. Basically, we want to see that how the cluster formation has been done. So we are generating x and y. n is equal to range one by eight. Figure dot comma x is equal to plot subplots. Then we will generate the scatter plot on the basis of x and y which we have created here, right? Which we have created here. So x dot scatter x comma y c is equal to h clustering dot labels underscore comma c map is rainbow plot dot grid round brackets plot dot x label dimension one consider the dimension one plot dot y label dimension two for i comma text in enumerate enumerate n x dot annotate text x i y i are the command lines so when i'll run this you can see here five one and four this is two cluster solution five one four are nearer to each other two three seven six are near to each other so this is cluster one and this is cluster two so this is a way you can run hierarchical clustering analysis in python for more videos on data science using Python, kindly subscribe to my channel. You can follow me on LinkedIn and Twitter. Please don't forget to subscribe the channel. One more thing, I already uploaded many videos of data science using Python. Kindly refer to my playlist. Thank you.